Well, the sun's coming out this morning and this is my new control panel and MPPT controller. As you can see, over here we've got the solar panel voltage, so that's running at just under 19. And then we've got my battery voltage here. And the charge controller, let's see if we can get that. Doing its demo, it says that PWM 1.15 amp and one and a half amp, so my efficiency is up 31% because I'm not bringing my solar panels down to the battery voltage. And that is confirmed roughly by my animal gammy too, the same 1.15 amps coming in, that sun's sort of just come out of the cloud. And as you can see as we're up to 2 amps, 28% efficiency increase. I'm pretty pleased with that. As you can see now at the back of my uh, control panel, I've got a 12 way fuse box, got my solar panels fused over here, my main battery and um, load fuses and then individual fuses for different loads coming off. I've used these earth bonds um, much easier to get everything into rather than chop blocks and stuff when you're using lots of different wires. Uh, master switches and the wiring should all be up to the 20 amps on the in now and then I've just used normal domestic 13 amp wiring because all this stuff is 10 or less, much less in most cases. And the 4mm solar cable that came with my 50 watt panel feeds the solar panel switches which are double pole so both negative and positive switch off when you switch the switch. Still got to put my wire my watt meters in but I've designed it so that you can plug various different things into either load or source to try a few things out. So that's it. Suddenly in other news, my inverter seems to have packed up. No light on it and when I plug in the thing and I'm getting no power. So that might have to go back. <laughs>